aviators, how are you today? My name is Magnar Nordahl and I am an ATR captain and instructor. Recently, a video went viral showing an ATR aircraft with a loose engine covering flapping in the wind. Not exactly something you want to see as a passenger, right? But let me assure you, it didn't pose any immediate danger for those on board. The aircraft or the engine was not falling apart as some content creators want you to believe. The, in the worst case scenario, the covering would have broken off and fallen to the ground, potentially causing some harm. So what happened here? Well, the engine has a covering on each side that provides engineers with access for inspections and maintenance. These covings are secured with four latches. As pilots, we conduct a walk around before every flight to make sure everything is secure. That includes checking that the covering is properly locked. At least, that's what we are supposed to do. I have had a first hand experience where I saw an ATA-72 land with two of the engine covering latches still open. The crew had flown four sectors without noticing. When I pointed it out to the captain, he mentioned turbulence on the last flight. I did not buy that excuse. The latches are designed to stay securely locked during flight, even in severe turbulence. Thankfully, the remaining two latches held the covering in place. But that was an oversight that should never have happened. Looking at this image, you can see that one latch is locked, but the other three are not. This incident reportedly took place in Taiwan, where there are two airliners operate the ATR-72. Mandarin Airlines and Uni Air. So, who's responsible for ensuring the covering is properly closed and checked? Engineers, yes, but pilots too. We should never accept an aircraft with defects. In aviation, we follow a just culture, meaning that we acknowledge that human errors happen. But when it does, we can learn from it to prevent it from recurring. Unless, of course, an action was deliberate. Unfortunately, in Taiwan, there is more of a punishment culture in place, where even small mistakes can lead to dismissal. If the company were to fire the engineer or pilots over this, they would lose valuable assets. I promise you, they will never make this mistake again. So why let them go? I truly hope they can continue with the company. What do you think? Was this a reason to dismiss the persons involved? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And that is all for this time. As usual, a big shout out to the supporters of the channel. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and happy learning.